probability, and sample space. Sample space is simply all the possible outcomes of an event. Sometimes sample space is easy to determine. For example, if you roll a dice, you're, the things that could happen are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Six things could happen. What is the sample space for flipping a coin? How many outcomes are possible? What are those outcomes? There are only two possible outcomes. When you flip a coin, you can either have heads or tails. There are two outcomes. Sometimes sample space is more difficult to determine. You can use a tree diagram or a list to help you figure out all of the possible outcomes. For example, what if you rolled a dice and tossed a coin at the same time? Now how many things could happen? What is your sample space now? To think this through, first of all, think how many things would happen when you roll a dice. You could roll a one, a two, a three, four, five, or six. Now think through what will happen with your second event. Flipping a coin. You can either land on heads or tails, right? So you could roll a one and then flip your coin and get heads or tails. You could roll a two and then get heads or tails. And so on. You could roll a three with heads or tails, a four with heads or tails, a five with heads or tails, or a six with heads or tails. You now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve events that could happen. Let's say you're ordering a pizza. You can choose a small, medium, or large pizza. You can choose cheese or pepperoni. What are the, all the possible ways you could order your pizza? How many combinations could you have? Well, the first thing you have to choose is the size. So you could have a small, a medium, or a large. Then you would need to decide what toppings, cheese or pepperoni. So you could have a small cheese, a small pepperoni, same for your medium, same two choices, cheese or pepperoni, and a large with cheese or pepperoni. When you turn this into a list, you simply write your choices. You would have a small with cheese. You could have a small with pepperoni and so on. And you should have six combinations. Medium cheese, medium pepperoni, large cheese, large pepperoni. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sample space and the counting principle. Sometimes you don't need to know all the details. You just want to know how many combinations you will have. In this case, we had three sizes of pizza. We also had two toppings. Three times two equals six combinations, or six choices. What if you have three pairs of shorts, two pairs of shoes, and five t-shirts? How many outfits could you make? Five times two times three equals 30 outfits.